this doesn't help the Mets case. When Steve Cohen goes to Twitter when he doesn't get what he wants. Does it hurt their case? Yeah, it does, I think. So you think it's a negative thing? I, th- I absolutely do. So you've thought the same thing about his Twitter account Well, I, I, some of the Some of the initial stuff with the whole GameStop thing and given his history and given the problems with He's SAC and all that other stuff. Yeah. yeah, I know. With the, all the problems with the SEC and, and SAC, which is, you know, his previous company. I, I felt like, you know, you don't want to get involved with Dave Portnoy on, on a social media platform. You just, no. You know. And unfortunately, you know, you could do that, I guess, if you're not the owner of a professional sports team. Yeah. You know, if you want to keep it in your realm of the financial world, fine. That's your world. But now all of a sudden you you are getting involved in things that, you know, Met fans don't want to see you involved in. Yeah. I mean, I just don't think if you're an agent, you're a player or whoever, you're Steven Matz. These guys have other clients. Now all of a sudden... You think about that. So this Rob Martin obviously has got other clients other than Steven Matz, and now he's getting called out by the Mets owner as the most unprofessional liar in the world. And then so- this would be my next question. Because Steven Matz has turned the Mets down, and they obviously went after Steven Matz, and it seems to me like that was more of a cost-cutting thing because that those numbers aren't like off-the-chart numbers for Steven Matz. Sure. Uh, Marcus Stroman is going to get double that. Oh, yeah, well, easy. More than double that, I think. So does this ratchet up the intensity for the Mets to bring back Marcus Stroman? Certainly. I think so. I mean, not just Marcus Stroman, but I mean, to really add to that staff in free agency. Yeah. And I'd really like to know the internal discussions about the way this team fell apart and why they think it fell apart. Because I don't think you could bring back a lot of these same players and expect different results. Yeah, I mean, there there needs to be a massive. That's why the Noah Syndergaard thing wasn't a big deal to me. You know, there's enough of these guys that are names and nicknames and don't contribute either if they're hurt or they're not hurt and they're not good enough. Michael Conforto is a guy I'm not bringing back. They got major deep issues on that team that need to be changed. 